Hello, Soldat. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Wolf of 1918, and here you'll find plenty of videos of me doing some World War I reenacting and how you can do World War I airsoft yourself. to start this YouTube channel for quite a while and haven't really had the opportunity to nor really the time and I finally kind of had those two things coincide pretty recently so it's been a fun little experience to be able to try to get this thing set up and here I am uh, what you can expect from this YouTube channel is a lot of videos about my re World War I reenactment as well as the reenactments I do with my uh, regiment the reserve infantry regiment number 17 I do a lot of reenacting with some very cool dudes and it's been a lot of fun we go to different airsoft fields right now, but our long-term goal is to set up a World War One reenactment group in California in order to basically have some pretty cool events go on with just World War One reenacting. There are several groups that do this with World War II, as well as later conflicts, but not a lot focus on World War One. And so it'd be very cool to see that be brought back to California, where it hasn't really been for quite a while. The other thing that I'm going to be doing on this channel is showcase a lot of the vintage photography I do. I'm very new to the hobby, so a lot of the stuff I do is pretty amateur, but I'm pretty excited to showcase some of the photography that I take with old cameras such as a 1916 Kodak and a 1930s model um, K Cine Kodak, which takes 16mm film and is the same model camera that was used to take a lot of the wartime footage that you see in newsreels for World War II, specifically the American stuff. Britain used a specialized combat camera. You can also expect to see some short films that I plan on making that are World War I or World War II based. I do want to get back into the filmmaking genre or hobby. You'll see some videos of myself doing airsoft with my uh, with my regiment buddies and my brother who does World War II and World War I reenacting as well, you know, same as I. And uh, just a lot of cool stuff is expected for the future. If you do want to keep up with what I'm doing and stay notified when I actually do upload a video, because YouTube algorithm can kind of be pretty mean to accounts like mine as uh, they don't want to promote controversial content, so they end up just uh, silencing everything, including stuff like what I do where it's just reenactment for historical purposes. So if you really want to keep up, you can subscribe if you want, like the video, and uh, keep up to date by turning on notifications. That'd be super helpful and just great to see community, you know, supporting each other and all that. If you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, I do post some cool pictures every now and then on my Instagram account, which uh, I will link or uh, you can find in my channel description, uh, as well as um, a list of people who do World War I reenacting that I think are really cool guys and I think you should go check out as well if you haven't already. Some of them probably have because this is a large community and there's a lot of people that are out there and I'm brand new to it. So, yeah. Um, stick around if you want. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos. When I have them uploaded, this is going to be my first just to introduce everyone to the channel. But yeah, you can expect some pretty cool content from me. Uh, shooting some old guns, you know, might be later on. I don't really know. But yeah, I'm going to be going airsofting soon, and so you should see a video of that recorded on 16mm black and white film, uploaded once I get that stuff processed and um, telecinied digitally. So yeah, stick around, there's more great content to come, and thank you guys for being so supportive, and checking out my channel.